Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having a great day and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. We got a pretty unique video today. If you've been around the channel a while, you know that every once in a while you will see my father pop on and talk about his vehicle, which in the beginning of the channel he owned <clears throat> a Toyota Tundra. It was a 2018 uh, double cab limited, non-TRD, which he very much liked, uh, but wanted to downsize a little and went to a 2020 Tacoma TRD off-road, a nicely equipped one. Had the moonroof, had the soft tax, everything like that. Well, he texted me yesterday and said, hey, I traded in my Tacoma. It was a lease and the lease was coming to an end. <clears throat> so over the past few months, he's been telling me, um, I don't know what I'm gonna trade it in for. And if you are my father or me, we usually make decisions very quickly. So he thought about it didn't really tell me much next thing I know he's like hey I bought a new vehicle come check it out so we're gonna go see it right now what I want you to do is while I drive over there pause the video and tell me what you think he bought once again he's coming from a Toyota Tacoma 2020 he does tow a boat not a gigantic boat hold on Tundra getting up to speed gotta love that twin turbo 3.4 liter iForce love it v6 but uh, yeah, I want to hear what you guys think that he bought. And when we get over there, we will take a walk around, check out the inside, and see what he has to say on why he made the purchase of what he got. So I'll see you soon. Don't forget, go down in the comments. Let me know what you think he bought. Let's see who's right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to pull up and see what he bought. Of course it's raining because anytime you need to do a video, where you walk around something outside, you get a little rain, but it looks like blue skies are ahead. So let's see what my father has traded his Tacoma for. I look forward to seeing what this may be, knowing he goes crazy. So let's see what we got. I'll try to turn the camera as we pull up. Let's see what we got here, turning in. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> that looks like a army green, as we would call in the Toyota world, Gladiator. Oh, let's check this thing out. Well, here it is. <laughs> 2023 Gladiator Rubicon. Brand spanking new. I like the green. A lot. I like it a lot. For me, the Gladiator has to be a Rubicon, right? 100%. Just for the, the fenders. The and Yeah, exactly. I don't remember the name they call this green, but it's something like Sarge. Okay. I don't remember what it is. I'll have to look it up. Are you still filming? Oh, I'm filming. We're staying on the whole time. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're still filming. We're Sorry, still guys. filming. All right. Before, so, we go, before we go inside. So the Tacoma is gone. Yeah. Three-year lease was up. It was an awesome truck. Only put 14,700 miles on it. And I decided one thing good about leasing is you can always try something different. I was not expecting this. Like, <laughs> was this even in the cards? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. No bed liner, unfortunately. That, you could do that, though. Put a bed mat, even if you don't. I got the spray liner. Okay, there you go. Very light. Hooks. So, <laughs> one thing about me, you never know what I'm coming up with next. This is very true. I like it a lot. I like the dash. New car smell. Very different. Wow. So I want the whole story. I want it all. Okay. You go ahead, talk. Okay. Just talk while I while I walk. I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. Just come okay. within range. So with the with the uh, Toyota lease coming up, this has been on my mind what I was gonna do. Whether I wanted to buy out the vehicle or um, trade in and 
see what I can do with something else. And one thing I do is I love leasing because I'm always in the warranty. Yeah. And I never have to worry about anything. And if I don't like it, I get to return it at 36 months. Exactly. Pop in there. Oh, you got a lot of room. Yeah. That'd be comfortable. See, I like the Jeeps that have this type of top, not the colored top. Right. I like the textured top. And you can actually soft top this if you want yeah. to, right? All that comes off. Oh, you're, you got the tops up there. I don't know much about the Gladiator, but this... It's three pieces that come off. Yep. There's all that Rubicon stuff going on. Check out their rock and rock <laughs> what was the cost? Okay. Do you remember the sticker? 62725. Heated seats, heated steering wheel. I'll be honest with you. It had to be the Rubicon. Exactly. The Rubicon. And I love that you agree with that. Yep. I wouldn't get the other ones. You know, no offense to anybody that has one. No. I um, like I like the look of the a, Rubicon. I got this. a gate deal. Um I took five thousand dollars equity out of my Tacoma. Really? Yeah. So wow. that was a really, really good thing. So I like it a lot. It's different, and different's fun. Yep. And I know you used to. You've had, had a few you. Wranglers. Listen, I'm seventy-two years old. In my life, I've had quite a few vehicles <laughs> and Jeeps for a couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> and this is cool for you because you got the boat. Yeah. You pickup. always use your pickup for everything, for fishing and all that. The so. Beach. You to the beach. This is going to be nasty on the beach. Right, exactly. And plus now, I can take yeah. the, the tops off and just have some fun with it. And you did over the last few months tell me you were looking convertible potentially because you had a lot of different options you oh, were looking yeah. I, I didn't know what I wanted, but I wanted something different. Yeah. And I went and I looked at a few few other trucks, but this was the one that was different. And I said, you it's know what? It's pretty different. I, I kind of like it. It kind of grew on me. Army vet in an army green vehicle. Not that, bro. I remember back in the day when you wanted the Jeep and you couldn't get it in the green. It was like impossible when you were right. looking for them right. years ago. Right. But this is something you may want to hold on to. This Plus is it has different. A towing capacity, so. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not, I, I, and how it rides is unbelievable. I couldn't, when I rode it, I, I thought it was going to be very stiff, very hard. Uh-uh. I don't know how they do it, but they did something. It's, well, you just segued into it. Take us for a ride. Go for a ride. Let's do it. Gladiator for a test ride. I'm gonna be truthful with you. I thought this thing was gonna ride hard and be a little slow with these big tires. But nope. Go left there. Nope. Very surprised. Very surprised. Manageable. Quiet. I don't hear the wheels or the tires. Um, it's, a, it's a truck, you know. It rides like a truck, and it's just, you know, it's just one of those things. It's, uh, you know, dual axles, so you know it's a little bit stiffer. The suspension is is rigged for technically Rubicon off road, but uh, it'll be great on the sand on the beach. It'll be great when I'm pulling something, especially that big boat I got. And uh, you know, gas mileage is the only probably uh, downside to the whole thing. I think uh, I think 19. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of research. You but know what, though, for the little you drive, exactly. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. And utility beats fuel mileage all the time. Oh, absolutely. Long. Absolutely. I mean, I, technically, we could have Armageddon. Now I'm getting home. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, it's a little different from the Tacoma. Not, not a whole lot. I think it rides a little stiffer, but the steering is easy. Um, and the engine and the quality of sound in the, in the cab is awesome. It's a lot quieter than I thought. Maybe right. Because, uh, you know, you got the three-piece hardtop, but it's quiet. It is quiet. Yeah. And it's crazy because this engine is the Pentastar V6. Right. This has been in the Wrangler since 2012, so yeah. it's got some miles on it as far as, uh, yeah, you King, know. King should be all yeah. ironed out. Reliability should be there. And it's a lease. Exactly. You're not going to be riding it for 100000 
percent. So, I mean, I'm, I'm always protected warranty wise. Oh yeah. Um, at the end, if I say I'm probably gonna try something else, I'm gonna try a sedan someday. <laughs> I really am. I'm gonna get a damn car. <laughs> Two weeks from now, you'll have a Mustang. Or no, 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 enough for right now. Yeah, it's good. Apps and everything is great. Off-road apps are wonderful. It just tells you everything the vehicle is doing, from pitch and roll to altitude and incline, and what everything in your this vehicle is doing as far as oil temperatures and all the other temperatures. I got a question. How is the buying process? Simple. I went in. I went in technically for a recon. But I had my eye on this, and um, I had texted him about it. And when I saw the price, the price was like, "Wow, I'm not going to be able to do that." But um, they had a uh, inventory closeout sale going on, so they say. They always have a sale. But you know, I went in. I t talked to uh, uh, Katie. I think her name was awesome person, and uh, I was there for a few hours, and we hammered out some numbers, and finally we said, "Okay, we can we can probably do that." They were excited at the Tacoma, and I was excited to get the Jeep, and it worked out. And plus, I get some, I got some equity out of the Tacoma. Yeah, so that's awesome. So here's a question. This is this is what, and I want to know from the people watching too. Do Gladiator Jeep owners wave like the Wrangler people? That is the question. Absolutely. <laughs> I didn't like you. I didn't expect Wrangler. Right. Yeah, this is this is different. Eight-speed transmission. Yes. You know what? It's a crazy amount of headroom. Yeah. You can take these off. Oh, oh yeah, that's... Off. Honestly, if I owned a Jeep, I would probably never take the back off, but I would take these off all the all time. time right? Did it come with, like, a bag or something? Yep, yep. Okay. Plus, they sent me a free recovery kit in the back. Nice. It's in the bag, says Jeep. Wow, this is super smooth. I know. Super smooth. I can't get over how smooth it is. <laughs> you're, you're, you're mimicking me now from yesterday. I just, I'm blown away by the, just no bounce whatsoever. Off-road suspension, you would think it'd be yeah. not as compliant. This thing is like ultra compliant. Yeah. And Good choice. On the video, they'd be going, oh, you're going slow. We can only do 25 miles. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is a beach town. We're literally at the ocean. Right. And when summer comes, speed limit only. Yep. They're they're looking for anyone. Doesn't matter if you live here or not. Lots of bicycles. Lots of oh, people. Oh yeah, a lot lots of people. Lots of vacationers just walking out in front of you, yep. thinking that they're on vacation. Nothing can happen. Speaking of that, it already is kind of crowded here. It's you know, it's not a good day. Wow. Well, I don't know. I like this. I think we'll have some fun learning about yeah. this truck, the good, the bad, the ugly. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're gonna buy any kind of Chrysler, I would think the Jeep would be the way to go. Wrangler or Gladiator, same platform pretty yeah, much, yeah. you know? Hit the drivetrain. Tell nice. you where your axles are going. Yeah, yeah. Pitch and roll. Pitch and roll. Neat. We're 22 feet off ceiling. <laughs> and Jeep also included an off-road recovery bag. It's got toe straps. It's got um, those horseshoe... Um, Horseshoe clips? I don't know what they're called. I forgot what they're called. Shackles, that's what it is. Um, even gloves, Jeep gloves. <laughs> and uh, a couple other items for off road recovery. Under seat storage. Under seat storage. So under seat storage is lift up the seat on both sides and we have storage bins. This is actually a Superflow air compressor, huge. That fits under there perfectly. Close the seat, good to go. And if you want something behind the seats, storage behind the seats. And the cool thing is, you can't see it from here, but at the top of the seat over here, there's a keyhole. And with that keyhole, with your key, is when you put this up and you have valuables back there, it locks the seats oh, so they neat. can't come down. That's neat. I have no bed liner. And I throw a lot of stuff in there and a lot of uh, fishing equipment, boating equipment, just stuff. And it definitely has to be, um, have a liner. I'm going to get a spray in for it, but it should be well worth it. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with the whole thing. So far, so good. So far, and we'll so take good. it from there. Later, dudes.